So this question says, if sine x degrees equals a, which of the following must be true for all values of x? So what I'm noticing is that all of my answer choices also have variables. So this is a good setup for using the strategy, plug in your own number. Now in this case, the number that I'm going to start off with is an x value, right? So sine of what? What's a good x value to use here, right? So there's multiple good values that you could use. I'm going to decide to use 30 degrees. So I'm going to say x is 30 degrees. Now I'm going to base this on my 30, 60, 90 right triangle. 30, 60, 90. And I know that the side lengths for 30, 60, 90 right triangle are in the ratio of 1 to root 3 to 2. So hopefully you remember that. Of course, you could always just throw this into a calculator as well, not do what I'm doing here. But you would need to like, you know, x 30 is a good value for x. 45 could also be good for x. 60 could be another good one for x. Um, so I'm using this just because <clears throat> these special right triangles kind of stick in my mind pretty well. So when x is 30, what is the sine of 30? Well, the sine of an angle is representative of the opposite over the hypotenuse, right? Because we come from Sokotoa. So the sine of 30 is the opposite side, which is 1, over the hypotenuse, which is 2. So the sine of 30 is 1 half. So what have I done? Essentially, I've said, hey, when x is 30, a is 1 half, right? I've replaced x with 30, and a becomes 1 half. So get that I plugged in the x value, and then the a uh, kind of comes along for the ride, right? I didn't, I didn't create the a value. So now because I have real values, I can go and test each of these answers. So answer choice A is cos x, but hey, I'm saying x is 30. So cos 30 equals, and A is 1 half. Well, is it true that the cosine of 30 is equal to a half? No, it's not, right? So we can look at my triangle and tell that, because again, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, which would be root 3 over 2. So that's not the case. You could also put it into your calculator to test it. How about answer choice B? Is it true that the sine of, let's see, 90 minus x? Well, because x is 30, 90 minus 30 is 60. So is it true that sine of 60 is equal to 1 half? No, it's not, right? Because sine is opposite, will be root 3 over hypotenuse. So that's that also would be root 3 over 2. So that's also not true. It's not equal to 1 half. Is it true that the cosine of, again, 90 minus 30, which is 60? So is it true that the cosine of 60 is equal to one half. So from my from my diagram here, the 60 degree angle is down here. So the cosine again is adjacent over hypotenuse. And yeah, the adjacent side is one, the hypotenuse is two. So yeah, this is absolutely true. The cosine of 60 is one half. So choice C works, choice B and A did not. I wanna try D just to make sure, and we have sine, in this case, x squared. Now, x is 30, so x squared, 30 squared is actually 900. And we're asking, is it true that the sine of 900 is equal to a squared? a squared would be 1 half squared, which is the same as 1 fourth. So is it true that the sine of 900 is 1 fourth? And I'm just going to go to my calculator just to make sure that that is, whether that's the case or not. So sine 900. And let's see, no, it's not, right? So D is gone. So choice C is the best answer for this question.